Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create a reactive form for the sign up and the login. So let's get started. You can see here the Angular application. Let's go to appmodule.ts and here I'm going to import reactive form module. And second, I'm going to import here that is a forms module. After this, let's go to sign up component. Let me add here the code of the HTML. You can see here the HTML code of the sign up form. After this, let's go to sign up component.scss and here I'm going to add the code for the styling. You can see here the code. Let's go to sign up component.html. Let me copy the form name that is a sign up form. Let's go to sign up component.ts. Let me initialize the form with the form group. After that, I'm going to add the constructor where I'm going to inject the form builder. Inside this, I'm going to initialize the reactive form. So it will be a this dot sign up form is equal to this dot fp dot group. And here I'm going to define the inputs that we need to get from the HTML. So the first we have name that is by default null. And here I'm going to add the validation that is a validators dot required. Second, I'm going to add here that is a email. Let me add here the second validation that is a validators dot email. Third, I'm going to add here that is a password. And the last we have confirm password. Let's go to sign up component.html. Let me copy the method name that is a global password visibility. Let's go to sign up component.ts. Let me create this method. After the sign up form variable, I'm going to initialize here the second variable that is a height password that is by default true. Let me assign here the opposite value of the boolean. Let me call here this dot type password is equals to this dot type password and it will be a opposite. You can see here the property that is a form group to bind the form tag with the TS. You can see here the input inside this. You can see here the input tag where we have a property that is a form control name. On this we have a name property. The second input you can see here that is the email and the input tag. You can see here the form control name that is a email. Third input you can see here for the password and you can see here the input tag of the password where we have a form control name property with the password and the last input for the confirm password and you can see here the input tag where we have a form control name property with the confirm password after the inputs you can see here the button for the sign up where we have a click event on this event we are calling the method that is on submit let me copy the method name let's go to sign up component.ts let me create this method and here I'm going to add the console.log to print the whole form values in the console. Let me call it the reactive form that is a sign up form and I want to print the values so it will be a value. And you can see here the property to disable the button when the inputs are invalid. Let's go to UI and you can see here the sign up form where we have four inputs. First we have name, second we have email, third we have password and the last we have confirm password. And you can see here the icon to view the password. So let me fill the form. Let's click on this sign up button and you can see the values that we are getting from the reactive form where we have a name, email, password and the confirm password. After that, I'm going to create a reactive form for the login. So let's go to login component. Let me add here the code for the HTML. You can see here the code of the login component dot HTML. Let's go to login component dot scss and here I'm going to add the styling properties for the login form. You can see the styling properties. Let's go to login component dot html and you can see here the form tag where we have a property with the name to login form inside this we have a first input that is a email and you can see here the input tag where we have a property form control name with the value 
and second we have a password input on the input tag you can see here the property that is a form control name with the value password and you can see here the icon button where we have a click event on this event we are calling this method that is a toggle password visibility to show the password on the click of this icon after this you can see here the button for the login and you can see here the event that is a click on this event we are calling this method that is a on submit and we have a property to disable the button let's go to sign up component.ts let me copy the code let's go to login component.ts let me paste here let me import the form group form builder validators let me update the form name that is a login form in the login form we have two inputs that is the email and the password so let me remove the confirm password and the name let's go to ui and you can see here the login form where we have a two inputs first we have email and second we have password let's fill the form let's click on this login button you can see here the values of the login form with the email and the password let's click on this button and it will navigate us to the sign up page so that's all now from my side if you have any confusion you can do comment and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thanks for watching take care bye